and then we'll take questions. Just raise your hand and I'll call on you. Coach? Uh, obviously disappointed in, uh, in the outcome of the football game. Uh, credit to, uh, to Georgia. Um, they won critical plays. They played clean early in the football game. Uh, offensively, you know, early in the football game, the fall starts, the uh, communication issues, um, you know, hurt us. And, and uh, you know, defensively, uh, didn't play well in, in the early part of the game after the, the first series. And, and uh, but then got our footing and did some good things on, on the back end of it. All in all, just critical plays, critical opportunities. Uh, you know, when you're on the plus side of the 50, uh, we didn't win any of those. And, and uh, you know. That's a credit to, to them and, uh, and some things that obviously we got to be better at too. Questions, we'll start with David. <coughs> Josh, can you just talk about the impact that that 75 yard punt in the first half had? And just uh, at the end of the day, we had first run uh, gains up positive yards. Um, you're backed up, um, you know, and, and then uh, <coughs> it's like now we don't get anything out of it. Uh, sack, um, obviously, you know, changes the way the game's played and, and momentum swing. and, and uh, it was a big play in the football game, obviously, but in this game, you're going to have to reset. You're going to have to come back. You're going to have to make plays. And, and at the end of the day, we didn't do enough things early in the football game to be able to apply any type of pressure uh, to them. Joe Rex Road and then Austin Price. Josh, did Georgia do anything defensively that you didn't anticipate and was Hendon used at times by certain looks? Uh, no, there, there were some things that showed up uh, from their tape um, that uh, appeared more often. Um, you know, we had anticipated seeing um, you know, a bunch of different looks from them throughout the course of the football game. Uh, protectionally, uh, there in the, uh, the third quarter, there was a couple of things that we didn't communicate uh, very well. Uh, I didn't think all in all we handled the uh, the noise uh, very well. Um, and, uh, you know, that's false starts. Uh, it's being in sync communication up front. Um, at the end of the day, that, that hurt us, um, certainly early in the football game and then uh, at times throughout the course of it. Josh, there were times where it, 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 it didn't have a time. There just wasn't anybody open. Uh, did you feel like that was the case? Did you feel like you had to hold on to him a little too long time? Didn't throw anybody open? Uh, I, I thought, you know, there's, uh, when it looked the way that it did tonight at times where you're, you're struggling and not efficient, not playing ahead, there's times the guys were winning. Uh, we came off it too early. There were times that we didn't win. There were protection issues, um, you know, miscommunication. So. You put a little bit of any of those things together, and uh, you're not efficient, not able to play ahead, not uh, able to play with any tempo. And, and uh, you know, again, um, that's part us, but uh, part them too. Patrick denied. Coach, I think you guys only have one pass for like 20 yards. I think guys have been so good on big plays. You know, at, at certain points they were able to play uh, two high safeties, uh, certainly in their structure. Uh, there were opportunities that we had on the football field too. And tonight we did connect um, early with Jalen uh, down the middle of the football field. And certainly opportunities throughout the course of their over the middle of the field and then uh, late in the football game too down the sideline. So, um, you know, th there's a lot of things that we'll look back on that uh, we have to be better in uh, when you're going to play a good football team like this. Josh, you said you had to handle the noise better. Is that, I mean, that was as loud as I've ever been anywhere. Is that something you can't do until you've experienced it? I mean, how, what do you do? Uh, there's things that we have done uh, and to, to handle it and uh, to be way more efficient than we were tonight. Um, there's things that, uh, that we'll learn from uh, tonight, but uh, you know, as a program, um, you got to understand what you're getting yourself into and, and the atmosphere and, and the energy and the focus that you're going to get uh, from everybody. You know? Not just their, their program, but from their fans too. And, and we, uh, you heard me say it early, uh, the emotional part of the football game had to be able to settle into it early in the game. Uh, we did not do that in, in a positive way. And, and uh, you know, it's an opportunity for us to learn. We'll be better. Uh, we can be a whole lot better. We've handled it at times really well. Um, you know, our, our guys will be, be right when they get back in the building. We'll get better. Wes, then Adam. In terms of, at halftime there, you know, so many things just didn't go right there, but y'all done enough to hang in there. What was the message at halftime? Was it kind of like, all right, that was a good punch, let's come back? Or what was the yeah, it, you know, we talked all week long. It starts with fast, great. If it doesn't, that's all right, too. No matter how it starts, you got to continue to compete. Um, the ability to refocus, uh, reset, and, and come out and go play the next half. Um, you know, offensively had the football. I need to go do something with it. Uh, defensively, get a couple stops and, uh, you know, try to close the gap and make it a tight football game at the end. And uh, weren't able to do enough of that. Far less. Obviously, you're 
your goals are still ahead in terms of being big Well, <laughs> getting to Atlanta is a whole lot tougher now, right? You know, uh, certainly. Um, you know, that's the number one goal inside of our program. At, at the same time, you mentioned we've learned from this. What do you think it's going to take you know, to kind of to bounce back and, and be able to, to handle adversity right away? Yeah, uh, our kids have handled a, a bunch of adversity throughout their careers inside of this program. Uh, you know, they've continued to fight and, and scratch and claw and, and uh, be connected, come together. And there's no doubt in my mind when we get back in the building on, on Monday that they'll continue to do <coughs> um, Yeah, that's how we got to the point of making this a big football game. Uh, we got to go reset and continue to grow uh, individually and collectively as a program. Everybody's got a hand in this, uh, starting with me, our staff, and, and, uh, and our players learn and grow and, and uh, continue to climb this program. Adam the, Dennis. On that note, there are mistakes tonight we haven't seen the guys make all year. Are you convinced that those mistakes only happen against this team in this setting? Because we haven't seen them this year. Um, <laughs> they can happen at any time if you're not invested, um, you know, prepared. Um, you're not in, in control of your emotions and, and uh, you're playing, you know, your best brand of football. Um, it certainly reared its head tonight early in the football game for sure and, and that time throughout the course of it. Um, these guys are resilient. These guys are competitors. These guys uh, have a great amount of pride. Uh, you know, we'll reset and, and um, we got to this point by focusing on, on one game at a time. And, and uh, you know, for us, I hate the way that this one turned out, for sure. Uh, everybody hurts inside of that locker room. Uh, we got to reset and, and get back to work on Monday. Josh, what does this say about their program right now? They could do this losing 15 grand choices, <coughs> five guys. Yeah, sure. Uh, they got, you know, I mean, they've been recruiting at a really high level for a really long time. Uh, next man's up for them. Um, you know, they're a deep football team, for sure. Austin. Message to the team after the game and, and, and well, I'll be, be real about what happened tonight. You know what I mean? And the energy and, and uh, I'll, you know, the type of environment and competitive arena that you're in. Um, you know, it's a program on the road. Right? Like, we got to grow and be able to handle that in, in a much better way than we did uh, tonight. And it's not that our guys didn't prepare, prepare well, um, but just, you know, being within ourselves in the early part of the game in particular to, to change the way the game plays and, and uh, um, <clears throat> learn from that, understand what that's going to be like here as we continue to grow as, as a program and, and have more of these opportunities to play in uh, these types of, of ball games. Um, be real about you know what we all need to be better, coaches and, and players. Um, at the same time, uh, understand we're a good football team. And uh, you know it didn't happen tonight uh, on the 60-minute clock. Um, that's the great thing about sports is, is you only get one opportunity, man. And, uh, um, you know, reset and, and let's come back to work. Patrick. Coach, you, you said the team didn't settle. You talked all season about how they were resilient. They just keep playing. What did, what did you see from them on the sideline? Did you see them? They didn't, they didn't, stop, they didn't stop playing. They didn't stop competing. You know, um, we didn't do the things. You know, I mean, we got the ball on the plus side of the, the territory. And, never believe something goes wrong. And it's not all ten, uh, all 11 at one time, you know what I mean? It's one guy. And uh, you can't do the, that against a good football team. And, and uh, we did not play <clears throat> our cleanest, best football. Part of that then, that's a really good football team too. Um, you know, but there's things that we can control and, and be a whole lot better at too. And, and uh, at the end of the day, um, you know, I hate the outcome. Everybody in our program does. Um, we gotta reset and, and continue to go, go fight. Just in terms of the demeanor, I mean, on the side, <coughs> do you see it different just throughout the course of the game? Uh, in the early part of the game, uh, I just, were we uh, the best version of us? No, uh, we weren't. And that's why you see the things that happen early in the football game happen. You know what I mean? The ball starts out on the perimeter, right? And miscommunication up front and protections, false starts up front. Like, you can't do that in, uh, against a really good football team, right? You, you just can't do that. And, and uh, you know, so we changed the way the game was played in, in a negative way early. And we did that in all three phases, you know what I mean? So. All right. Thank you, Coach. All right. Appreciate it, guys. And we'll have players up here shortly. We'll do them up here. Uh, Indian Hooker, Seth Tillman, and